Hey guys, Slimber here, aka Emo Faggot, and today we're going to be. Let me fix my fucking hair. Today we're going to be watching a video on some fucking weirdo who's obsessed with Pac Man. Get into it. Meet Tim Christ, a man obsessed with Pac Man. This is the face you see before you get fucking murdered. After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Are you implying that Pac-Man is fucking Jesus Christ? Behold, I am Pac-Man! This is the face you see before you get fucking murdered. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples, and it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey look! It's Pac-Man! This is the face you see before you get fucking murdered. The past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. Yeah, because nobody's played Pac-Man before. Nobody knows how fucking Pac-Man works. Look what you've done. <laughs> what? Look what you've done. Look what you've done. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has the psychic connection with Pac-Man. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Pac I get kind of an oddball little Pac-Man feeling when I get the impression that he may be nearby. Pac-Man? Are you there, Pac-Man? 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 And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just... Oh. <laughs> This man looks like he might try to fuck the machine. Hi, Pac-Man! The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the Great Yellow One? Certainly, certainly. Kurt Angle hates his fucking job. You keep the great yellow one from going through my wall again, right? Sorry about that. This is really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? Thank God I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> I should destroy you with my Pac-Man now. Okay. <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> when the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, in the melting way he does, it always brings me a feeling that maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. This man should start a goddamn cult around fucking Pac-Man. I would literally join it if he started it. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man! Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? Yeah, dumb bitch. You're worse than Miss Pac-Man. Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems, and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You know, if it weren't for him being a millionaire, I would, I would, I would, I would leave. And, and that big cock. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me. You get to watch me play. Yeah, you're fucking terrible at Pac-Man. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to- Ha-ha! Pac-Man eat you now! Ha! How's that? I'm gonna cry. Why? No, don't cry. <laughs> okay, hold on. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Uh, what was the song called? Pac-Man is naked, and so should you. Are you ready for Batman? Please don't sing this. I have enough nightmares already. <laughs> Get the to go! What's wrong with you? Tim. Tim, what's wrong with you? The best way to Pac-Man is to use the game! You move the joystick and he eat the dot! There should be counselors involved. 
There should be counselors involved. Look what you've done. Sometimes you just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life. And I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. Pac-Man! Just going through a part, uh, walk on my day. I'm just hoping. Pac-Man! What the fuck was that? Pac-Man! What? What? What the fuck was that? I'm a Mario fan, faggot. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. Pac-Man! He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the Golden One who is round and eats things. It is written that you shall play Pac-Man! And only then shall you know the glory of Pac-Man! Honestly, I don't see this as any different than the fucking people who go on college campuses screaming about God. It can be extremely embarrassing. When we're driving down the road, people are standing there like, Pac-Man? Bow before Pac-Man! Feel his glory! Feel the glory of Pac-Man! See Pac-Man! No! See Pac-Man! I think these people are going to look back on their lives. They're going to be lying on their deathbed thinking, my God, I have squandered my life. Think of all the times I played things that weren't Pac-Man. Alright, I can't tolerate this any longer. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, worship fucking Pac-Man, uh, slimber out.